Okay, we're gonna do a video today. This one's gonna be about um, um, some fashion related and it's gonna be how often do uh, local Macau people wear tennis shoes with their dress? Tennis shoes with a dress as opposed to wearing high heels. So let's find that out today on Get Sidetrack. Okay, I'm the content creator for this channel. If you like what I'm doing, just subscribe and hit the like button. Okay, so um, so usually I've been in Macau for a while, and usually I notice one of the things with fashion. There's two right there. Um, I think one maybe shorts and the other dress. But um, so there's um, tennis shoes. So basically, this whole thing is about um, how often do we see tennis shoes and dress being a common thing. And I'm gonna just kind of give you a little bit of history. There's a, another one too. And um, I used to live in New York. So the first time I lived in New York in 1998, 99, and 2000. And when I lived in New York, I um, I would I would see uh, usually women would wear um, high heels if they wore a skirt almost every single time. Um, so when the first times that I was in New York and I saw somebody who didn't do that, I was very amazed. I was like, wow, these New York people they must have to walk around a lot when I first moved to New York. Um, I was like, oh, they must um, they must move, move around a lot. That's very practical. Just maybe they uh, leave their heels at work and they put on the tennis shoes when they go to lunch. And I was like, wow, that's really uh, practical and smart. And um, then I lived in different places. I lived in Korea and they wear high heels. They wear it to the beaches. They wear it and they go hiking. You know, they just, they don't, they, when, they, when they're seen in public, they just want to have that combination. But when I'm in Macau, I don't really see that. So we've seen um, a few already without. Um, and so, so basically it's just kind of a theme, right? So you, you'll see that pretty commonly here. Um, that was another situation. I think that might have been a Filipino woman. Um, but you'll see it among Filipina and um, Chinese alike. So, um, but yeah, just tennis shoes. Actually, here's another example too. There's um, these two have. Um, like if they were in Korea, they would all they would both have high heels for sure. But um, but here they, um, granted these are shorts, but but um, but that's kind of um, the attire that you would generally see for um, that combination. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. So we're gonna take a look. Um, the reason that I go in this area sometimes is because the, at nighttime this lighting is amazing. So I can film and talk, where if I'm in another spot it's a lot more darker and harder to see things. Um, it seems like there's not as many people as I thought. It's um, just to give you some disclaimers. It's COVID time, so there's not many people like there usually is. And actually this particular area generally would be more tourists anyways but you don't really see them because um, so everybody that's here would be somebody that lives here or works here um, or both and uh, so even if they're I guess just basically tourists you might not see well if they're Korean you would I'd see Koreans hike all the way up to Sao Paulo ruins um, with, this, with the high heels on so climbing the stairs and things some mainland Chinese do too but yeah I don't see any so today we're kind of looking for that combination I'm not really seeing it at all this evening. Anyways, this is kind of the beauty of this area and let me see we are at three minute mark so maybe we'll just walk back up towards um, towards the uh, sometimes let's just kind of look around this area real quick just so you can see the context of everything. Very beautiful area especially at nighttime there's this beautiful energy that's just incredible. Um, Okay, so here's another one with the skirt on and has like flip-flops. I guess that's a pretty practical... I mean, you don't want to wear high heels if you... If, um, if it's not the norm, then I guess you generally wouldn't, right? So that's definitely um, the case here as well. So, um, let's just, we'll just go for five minutes and actually I don't think we're going to see... I don't think we're going to see any. But you do get a feel for Macau and just how beautiful it is. and. Um, but yeah, let's just get back into fashion and um, yeah, basically it's very practical. So things are very practical in nature and I think even when they wear like skirts it's more because of heat. It's not because they're trying to, um, it's kind of a beautiful alley right there too. But it's yeah, basically it's because of the weather. It's not because they're trying to um, um, like, like in Korea or Japan, you know, like they wear it with a strong awareness of the fact that people are going to um, be aware of them and going look to at, look at them. And, and judge them even but here there's not really a culture like that they don't really people just don't really think about it so um so anyways hopefully i gave you a little bit of insight about that and um 
Yeah, and actually even, I guess even that would be to the, it's gonna comment on that. Um, but yeah, like that might be kind of the fashion way in a way. Okay, this is kind of a cool space right here. So we're gonna come back here and then we started here at this place and I think that's gonna be a good ending. And, and you got this little plaza here. And we'll end it right here. And this is probably, this is where, this is really well photographed when all the tourists are here. So we're gonna end it right there. Shikinya. Shikinya.